you've got an old bathtub and needs a little bit of TLC, I can show you how to make it good as new. Now you'll just need one pack of White Knight tub and tile to do the average bath. If it's in really bad shape, you might need more than two coats and another pack. First of all, make sure you've got all your equipment handy. Tape up the tiles and put drop sheets on the floor so paint doesn't get on them. And you've got the area around the bath protected. Preparing your surface properly is vital to getting a good job. This is where a lot of DIYs go wrong. Start by giving your bath a really good clean with an abrasive cleaner. This will get rid of body fats, soap scum and other dirt that have built up on the tub surface. Make sure you get right up to the edges and all around the plugs and any nooks and crannies. Give it a good rinse with clear, warm water. Do this as many times as you need to make sure the whole surface is thoroughly clean and no build up remains. Now we need to give the whole bath a really good sand. That'll help the paint stick to give you a really nice finish. Scrape off any loose bits and sand with 240 grit wet and dry sandpaper or a mechanical sander until all shine and flaky material is removed. Any rust will need to be sanded right back to clean metal. Then rinse again with clean warm water and let it dry completely. Now grab yourself a clean dry cloth and clean the whole surface with rust guard solvent to make sure it's absolutely clean. Trapped moisture under white night tub and tile can cause blistering so you should also cover the taps with plastic bags sealed up with a rubber band so you don't get water leakage while you're painting. The next step is to prepare your white night tub and tile. Make sure you've got a couple of sealable metal or solvent resistant containers handy. Stir both the A and B tin separately with a flat stirrer. Use a clean stirrer for each tin. Pour all of A and B tins into one of your containers and stir really well until they are completely mixed. This will take about five minutes. Pour half the mixture into your other container and seal them both up nice and tight. Put one container in the fridge, make sure it's pretty cold between zero and four degrees and let the other half stand for an hour at room temperature. Now when your hour's up, give your room temperature mixture a really good stir for about five minutes and also when you're using it, give it a stir every now and again. Using a good quality bristle brush, start your first coat from the bottom of the bath, working your way up, laying the paint down in one direction and then finishing off in the opposite direction to get a nice even coat. Clean up with Rust Guard solvent straight away. The first coat should be dry in about six hours, but you need to leave it between 12 and 36 before you recoat. When you're ready to do your second coat, get your mixture out of the fridge and let it sit at room temperature for an hour. Give it a good stir with a broad flat stirrer in a circular lifting motion for at least five minutes. Apply the tub and tile the same way you applied the first coat, starting at the bottom of the bath and working your way up using a cross hatch motion. Tub and tile will achieve maximum adhesion and hardness in three or four days, but leave at least five days of warm weather drying before you use the bath. Wait till your paint is completely dry before taking your plastic bags off. For a complete bathroom makeover, why not paint the tiles with white night tile paint for a whole new look? It's easy. Check out the White Night How to Paint Ceramic Tiles video on YouTube or visit the White Knight website at www.whitenightpaints.com.au. While you're there, you can find more info on products, colours and application, or ask your paint specialist.